It's getting hot outside and all summer long, we're helping you beat the heat with some cool summer treats. And Scott, viewers keep recommending Scoop Dog here in yep. North Little Rock with their custard. They've been perfecting it for over 20 years. And it's not just custard, they've got a full menu of hot dogs inspired by cities all over the country. Scott, I gotta stop you there. I'm getting hungry. Are you ready? Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. It's a family owned and operated business. Real complicated. We make hot dogs and frozen custard. <laughs> When we started out, people didn't even know what frozen custard was. And um, all we asked was one shot. And they gave us a try. And 23 years later, this place has put my kids through college. And um, we're going strong. Community's everything. Anything we're asked, we, we help. Our custard, it, it dates back around 1927. We use egg, cream, and sugar. No preservatives or additives. So it's a, it's a, it's a natural product, and we make it here and it's delicious. I'm excited about this. I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's, it's the original ice cream. It's the thickest, creamiest, best ice cream you'll get anywhere. I promise you that. Oh, Joe, what is that? Golden is that the golden retriever? Bread pudding is what is the base of this with the custard on top, cherries, oh, caramel sauce. Oh, we have to try this. Here, come on. I think it's appropriately named. Yeah. A golden retriever. Exactly. It's just friendly and welcoming and joyful. Does it remind you of your dogs? Yeah. <laughs> the hot dogs are 100% pure beef. We get them from Chicago. They're the base of, of all of our city hot dogs that we make. Each one of them is inspired and named after a different city in which you would find this style of dog. And they even said that people from these cities have right. tried the dogs and they say it's better than home. Now their number one seller is Chicago dog. So what do you say we both start with that one? There's a lot in this. Look, there at, is look at everything a inside lot. There. It is so colorful. This is not your average backyard barbecue hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I am from New York, so I think it is my duty to try the New so. York hot dogs. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Immediate feedback. Well, Speak with your mouth full. This is heated up. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I understood that. Yeah, it's fine. Amanda, I've literally heard about this place for years. It's very unassuming. It's nestled almost within a neighborhood. One would say it's humble. It's literally <laughs> in the name. But let me tell you, there's a lot of reasons to be proud, not only of the food, but the service, the vibe. This is a really cool place. Yeah, we're here at the Humble Crumb in Sherwood. And from humble beginnings to making quite the name for itself, yeah. I've heard so many good things. And I got to tell you, I hear about these family recipes, and I want to take a big bite. You ready to get going? Are you going to make me wait any longer? Nope. Let's, Let's eat, eat it, it up. up. The Humble Crumb is a small bakery that's family owned and family friendly. It has a lot of stay at home moms that work here and teen girls. And we want to be a warm place where people can meet. We're a community bakery that serves hot breakfast and lunch. And we also are open for, uh, we call it Tuesday tea on the first Tuesday of every month. Scott, this is really where it all started. These amazing cinnamon rolls people could not get enough of. Oh, They're serious yeah. about cinnamon. Sometimes you, you try need, it? I do. Oh. I, I, I got a little crazy with that. <laughs> right? I just feel like you need more in, okay. your, in your chunk. Okay, I'm willing to watch and see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's thin. The diet. <laughs> the uh, diet cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Ruth always made cinnamon rolls for her family and she got a recipe a long time ago and made them for her uh, like son's baseball teams and for teachers. Our cinnamon rolls are still our most popular. See the icing just falling oh, off the top. I mean, that's yeah. what gets your attention. For lunch, we make a grilled chicken salad sandwich on um, homemade cranberry wild rice bread. And uh, it's like a buttery grilled sandwich. It's really good. Mm. I'm freaking out. Mm. The flavors. Mm. What, is it the bread? Is it the chicken salad? It's a little bit of everything. I can tell that this is homemade bread. I want a loaf of this mm. bread. I want a tub of this chicken salad. Me too. Oh, we're getting more. The mass size of this scone. Mm. Like, it's huge. Now I see why people lined up outside mm. of their garage years ago mm -hmm. just to get these cinnamon rolls and how this led to everything they have now because it's just so good. Maybe we should just move in in one of the rooms and mm. have breakfast served to us every day and lunch. Okay, I'm in. Okay, that was an easy decision. 
here on Bathhouse Row in Hot Springs. It's obviously famous for the bathhouses, right? But this place is quickly becoming known as a Christmas destination. Here they celebrate Christmas 365 days a year. We're at Kringles and Cones, but Kringle is more than Santa's last name. It's a tasty treat. They've got others on the menu too, but they do them uniquely. They do them Santa's way. Sounds like the only way to me. What do you say we go to the North Pole, Scott? Tis the season. Let's eat it up. It's for little kids and the big little kid in all of them. People who walk through and they say this is their happy place. People get a lot of joy and experience and memory by coming into the shop. We play Christmas music year round and people belt, if they hear their song, they belt out their song. You get a few Mariah Carey's in there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we encourage it. Scott, you don't know this because you're not as big of a root beer connoisseur as I am apparently, but that frosty root beer that you have right there, along with Hank's elite status, some of elite. the best root beers ever. I don't know if you could ever have a more powerful mashup of flavors <laughs> than the soft serve they, they serve here with this root beer. Oh, is it, it's giving, like, oh it's, my it's word. creamy, it's, it's different. Stop trying to describe perfection, woman. <laughs> Kringles is a pastry that originated in Europe. It was made famous by Danish. Our Kringles are from a family bakery in Wisconsin. They are all made by hand. It's a three-day process and they have 81 layers to them. So since we got the Santa's way, that means we got the ice cream with it, drizzled caramel mm. on top. I've never had a Kringle. Have you? I've never had a Kringle. Didn't even know a Kringle was a thing. Imagine a, a flaky pastry and I'm talking light and flaky, full of like a deliciously sweet flavor. The cherry is amazing. You're getting that soft serve with it. It's like so sweet, but I'm not overwhelmed. It's not overwhelming. But I'm imagining sitting here in July. Oh. It's hot outside. You come and you get a warm Kringle with ice cream in July oh. and you are immediately transported to the North Pole. And you might just stay there. <laughs> you, might, you might just stay there. Do they have a beach at the North Pole? Mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. Oh my God, Santa, I know him, I know him. You'll shoot your eye out. We elves have four main food groups, candy, candy cane, candy corn, and syrup. And Kringles. And Kringles. Dear Santa, this Christmas I am it's a perfect angel, naughty or passable. You've been very much naughty. No, do not run there. <laughs> I have been a perfect angel. Lies. That was hard. <laughs> Permanent Just kidding. Place. Just kidding, Santa. The one thing I would love to have this year is another cat. A Doppler radar. <laughs> Perfect weather. <laughs> Sunny and 75 all year round. Come on, Santa. Yes, please. I would like perfect weather. I mean, go big or go home, right? World peace. Hot Wheels. <laughs> we are in two very different levels here. <laughs> okay, please tell all of your elves I said Merry Christmas. Sup, bro. <laughs> Santa will be receiving this. This is a direct line to Santa here Only. in Hot Springs. I'm so excited, Santa. This is for you. I don't know why you're so excited. You're definitely on the naughty list. You are, bro. You know, Michaela, and all summer long, we've been helping the folks at home beat the heat with some cool summer treats. And you know what I think of beating the heat? I think Italian. You know, I assume you're not talking about pasta. No, Scott. I'm talking Italian ice, specifically the Breezy Scoop here on Stagecoach. Now, this place has been going wild all over the internet. It's bold, it's colorful, and I literally can't wait any longer to find out what all this hype is about. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. I wanted to bring something bold, something fun, something colorful to the Little Rock area. Trailer design and the things we serve. I get the sense from your personality that you're a bold and colorful. Am I right? Yes, my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Italian ice is dairy free. It's a very creamy texture and it's flavor in every single bite. I gotta say the rainbow is calling my name. Three different flavors and she says it kind of tastes a little bit like one of those classic bomb pops as a kid. This is the island breeze. and It I looks so tropical. So good. And I'm in Little Rock but this will take you there. It'll take you there. Mm -hmm. It's like a first class ticket. Yes. Okay. We have your base flavors and we also have some flavors that are mixed together. One that we call Jolly Rancher which is watermelon and sour apple and lemon mixed together and it's a favorite. Maniac Berry and strawberry red raspberry 
strawberry and mango, and that one is awesome. Oh. <laughs> I want that one. Uh, one that's good that I always suggest is pina colada, pineapple, and mango. I feel like that's cooling me down just hearing the words. <laughs> It's everything to me. Um, I put my all into it. I've wanted to be an entrepreneur since I was a little girl. My parents were both hard workers. Uh, my drive watching them is what I put into my everyday. My favorite part is seeing the kids enjoy their Italian ice and also the adults. They'll be like, I'm coming back without my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for this pineapple breeze. So I'm gonna go with the pineapple infused lemonade. She makes this lemonade by hand every day and then she infuses it with the, the Italian, Italian ice. ice. Let's do it. It Ooh, looks we... like little green apples yes. with the karma on top. So I've been saving the blue. <laughs> Ew, I hung it. Yes. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really like it sour. I do, this is like my half place. There is a cold front moving up <laughs> I-30 and baseline in Little Rock. No, you're feeling a breeze. McKillen, it's literally the air conditioner. This is good too, though. <laughs>